Hi, this is Nick Bocott with Marshall USA and we're here today at the Fine Sweetwater Video Studios to discuss the Mini Jubilee Head, the 2525H, and also Sweetwater's exclusive 2x12 called the 2536A, A being angled. As you can see, it's a 2x12 that matches this beautifully. The 2525H, which is this head here, and its brother, the 2525C 1x12 combo, which has a green back in it, by the way, a 12-inch green back, is not a reissue of anything. We never made a 25-watt Silver Jubilee. The reason we made it is when we relaunched the 2555 100-watt head back in 2015, a lot of people came to the NAMM show and said, hey, we love this head, but we wish you'd make a lower wattage version. So that's exactly what we did, because that's what Marshall did in the first place. Jim listened to what guitar players wanted and tried to not only meet their expectations, but exceed them. So we made this. Now, the reason our mini head is slightly larger than other mini heads is we haven't changed the preamp. The preamp in this is exactly the same as the preamp in its 100 watt big brother. So it's got the same feature set, the input gain, lead master, output master, then the three bass middle treble controls, master presence. It's got a standby switch, which when on the up position is at five watts, in the middle is standby, down is 20 watts. On the back, it has a foot switch input with a white jack on it, so you can see it in the dark, which is useful. It's got five speaker outputs for the various combinations. And it's also got a series effects loop. And what I've got here is I've actually got the MXR reverb in the effects loop because it's a really cool pedal and it complements this beautifully. Um, as far as tubes go, as per the original head, the 2555 has three 12AX7s in the front end. And in the rear end, the reason this is not small is we've actually got two EL34s in there. A lot of people, when they make smaller heads, would put an EL84 in there, which this is a great tube, wonderful tube, but it's not the same as this. This has, has a different tonal characteristic to this, and we wanted to maintain the output's integrity and tonal characteristics of the 2555, so we use two of these as opposed to two of these. So it's a little bit bigger, but there's your reason, manly tubes. It has two channels, but the gains cascade, so you can go from clean to crunch. It's also got the pull switch on the input master, which gives you a diode clip on the rhythm channel, which also cascades into the lead channel, if you so wish. So it's a very versatile, no-nonsense, plug-in, rock kind of head. And let's listen to a few sounds. That's what it sounds like. That's how it came to be, public demand. And if you need to know more information, and I'm sure you do, please don't hesitate to call your Sweetwater sales engineer. You know the number, you know the website. Do it.